Aquawaves through a Palm Beach County high school community after disturbing allegations from a thousand miles away in New York. It centers around decades old allegations of sexual abuse of students against a retired teacher who spent nearly 20 years at a Boca Raton school. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney live now in Boca with details on the lawsuit and reaction from parents. Matt. Kelly, I can tell you that this is all a surprise and a shock to parents here at Spanish River High School, where the teacher taught from 1999 to 2017. And school district checks on this teacher's background apparently showed no sign of this. I expected the unexpected. It's always going to happen like this. You don't know about people. This Spanish River High School parent tried to make sense of this news. A former teacher facing allegations of sexual misconduct in a civil lawsuit years before coming here. Diane Vaco, now retired, suddenly accused by two women who say they were sexually abused by Vaco at a Buffalo area Catholic school in the 80s. It makes me a little bit nervous. The details of the suits can be shocking. From one lawsuit, Ms. Vaco sexually assaulted, abused, and had contact with plaintiff when plaintiff was a minor in New York and Florida. One woman saying she was between 11 and 15 when it happened, and another when she was between 10 and 13. Nearly 250 separate incidents combined, the women say. Personnel records in Palm Beach County at Spanish River High School reveal acceptable and high marks for Vaco, who focused on drama teaching. I think as a parent, that's why I teach my daughter to take so much responsibility for herself and be okay with talking to me about whatever she needs to talk to me about, constantly reinforcing that. All right, court records apparently show the teacher, Diane Vaco, now lives in St. Augustine, Florida. A spokesperson for the Palm Beach County School District says any concerns about the teacher while she was here would have been investigated had they been raised. Live in Boca Raton, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.